Hi everyone, welcome back to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing a video about another defunct football competition. I've done quite a few videos on this topic. There's a playlist, go and check that out. But today's video is going to be about the Coupe de la Ligue. This competition in English was known as the French League Cup, but we're going to be talking about the history of this competition. The Coupe de la Ligue began in 1994. However, there were two previous competitions under the same name. The first competition was also known as the Coupe de la Ligue and it ran between 1963 to 1965. The inaugural winners of the very first Coupe de la Ligue competition were Strasbourg in 1964. In 1965, Nantes won the trophy. Then there was a 17 year gap when the competition was revived and it was renamed the Coupe de Et or the Summer Cup. This was played before the start of the French Championship season. In the only season that it was known by this name, Stade Laval won the trophy, defeating Nancy 3-1 in the final at the Stade de Paris. The competition was then held intermittently between 1984 to 1994. It wasn't played every season and in the 1991 season only teams from the second division were allowed to compete. At the beginning of the 1990s, the president of the Professional Football League wanted to allow French clubs to play more matches which in particular made it possible to sell the rights to a new competition to audiovisual broadcasters. This competition was modelled on the English League Cup which was created in 1960 and the winner of the competition was to be granted entry to the UEFA Cup. It were also decided by the Professional Football League in France that besides Division 1 and 2 clubs playing in the competition, some Division 3 clubs which held professional status were allowed to compete in this competition. The first edition of the newly rebranded Coupe de la Ligue final was played in 1995 where Paris Saint-Germain defeated Bastia two goals to nil. In 2002, the Coupe de la Ligue trophy was rebranded itself. Initially, it were silver and quite tall in stature. The second trophy, when it was remodeled, was a lot smaller and was gold. The first team to lift the new trophy were Monaco, who defeated Sochaux four goals to one in the 2002 Coupe de la Ligue final. In the 2006-2007 season, the competition were remodelled, with the two clubs that qualified directly for the UEFA Champions League were exempt from the round of 32, as well as the competition changing dates with a new final in March or April of the following year. These modifications provoked reactions from the smaller clubs who felt disadvantaged compared to the four designated head seeds. In 2009, the existence of the Coupe de la Ligue was called into question. The Union of Professional Football Clubs demanded that the competition no longer offer a place for the UEFA Cup. And also, there was issues in obtaining broadcaster rights, with one of the French television stations threatening not to buy television rights for the following three seasons. In 2012, the French Football Federation managed to sell the broadcasting rights for the following four seasons, however, there was only one bidder for the rights to show the Coupe de la Ligue, which was France Televisions, which offered the lowest amount possible. Having received no television broadcast offer in December 2018, and with tenders going out with still nobody replying, the French F Federation Football Board of Directors voted to abolish the League Cup from the 2020-21 season onwards. There was also calls from clubs and the French Football Federation to disband the competition in order to reduce fixture congestion as a lot of clubs were complaining that they were having to play extra matches on top of the Coupe de France games and the Ligue 1 calendar. The last Coupe de la Ligue final was played on the 31st of July 2020 between Paris Saint-Germain and Olympique Lyonnais. The match finished nil all with Paris Saint-Germain winning 6-5 on penalties. The match was played at the Stade de France in front of just 3,500 spectators as this final was played during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now looking at the records of the competition, 
the most successful team in the competition's history were Paris Saint-Germain. They won it a record nine times and they made 10 finals. So they only lost one final and won it nine times. The second most successful team in the competition's history, surprisingly, was Strasbourg. They won it four times. Um, other teams that won it uh, more than twice were Bordeaux, they won it three times, and also Marseille, they won it three times in a row between 2010 to 2012. The most successful managers in the competition's history it were actually a tie between Didier Deschamps and Laurent Blanc, they both won four titles each. The all-time top goal scorer in the competition's history were also tied between Edinson Cavani and Paoletti. They both got 15 goals each. And Edison Cavani holds the record for most goals scored in all finals put together. He scored a total of eight goals across all Coupe de la Ligue finals. The team with the worst record in the Coupe de la Ligue finals were Lyon, surprisingly. They only won it once in 2001, but they lost five finals, which isn't very good going. In terms of shocks in the competition's history, there weren't too many. Probably the greatest one of all, though, come in the 2000 Coupe de la Ligue final, where second division Guignon won the trophy, defeating Paris Saint-Germain 2-0 in the decider. And I think they're the only second division team when the competition were rebranded in 1995 to win the competition. Of course, the club have found themselves on hard times recently. I was doing a bit of research and they're in the fifth or sixth division of French football now after a couple of successive relegations from the professional leagues. There was also another second division team which made the final in 2009 and that were Vaughan and they played against Bordeaux. However, they didn't fare as well as Guignon did, they ended up losing that final four goals to nil. For the first three years of the competition's history, the final were played at the Parc de Prince in Paris. Then after that, for the next nearly 20 years, the final were played at the Stade de France, located near the Parc de Prince. In the final three years of the competition's history, the final were moved around to Lyon, Bordeaux and Lille. And that concludes my video on the Coupe de la Ligue, another defunct football competition. Now, the LFP have said that they've suspended the competition indefinitely. But, I mean, the competition's been uh, brought back twice before this one. And uh, you never know, they might bring it back again. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, let me know which video you'd like me to do next thanks to everyone that's recently subscribed to the channel and been commenting on the videos it's much appreciated and thanks to everyone that's been supporting me since the beginning of the channel anyways this has been history of football and i'll catch us all later in the next one all right tally bye for now